Movie reaction? I haven't heard that name in years. I know it's been a minute, but we are finally back with another movie today with what's very likely going to be the oldest movie that I have ever watched this year. It turns a hundred years old, which is kind of wild to think about, but it is Nosferatu, one of the, if not the first horror film ever made, at the very least just one of the earliest, and so I'm very excited to see what sort of production value we're going to be working with here, and the storyline and everything like that. I don't know much about the movie, but I have seen images of Nosferatu himself, and he looks really creepy. I feel like silent films kind of have an unsettling nature to them anyway, just because of the way they're filmed and whatnot, and so I don't know if I'm gonna get scared at all, but I'm hoping to have a good time with it. I am watching this in the middle of the night alone as it should be watched, but hopefully you enjoy watching along with me for this one. If you do, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up, help us the video out, and of course full length reaction to this and all the other movies I watch are available on Patreon. Link for that in the description below if you'd like to support, that helps out a lot. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Nosferatu. Very nice, already loving the music, feels very expansive, like I'm sitting in a concert right now. Oh, I didn't realize there was a subtitle to Nosferatu, I like that though. Man, if your name is Hans, you're just destined to be a great composer, I think. Yikes, what a description, man, that's some dark stuff for sure, I don't want to say the title of the film anymore. Is that butter? I can't quite tell what that letter is at the beginning of his name. I hope that's the name because butter's a great name. He definitely looks like a butter. I love the way they do transitions and stuff. They have to get pretty creative with it. <laughs> Man is positively giddy. Oh no, it backfired, man. I don't think he expected that. <laughs> if some random dude just came up to me and told me that, I would be freaked out for life. I like the names, man. Knock. That's pretty cool. Never heard that before. Oh my gosh, Knock looks like he's one bad day away from being Nosferatu himself. Dude is concocting the ultimate scheme based off the music right now. Oh, if he's from Transylvania, that's where they went wrong. That's where Dracula originates, right? <laughs> I like his eyebrows, they go on for days. Definitely doesn't look very homey to me. I would be suspicious if he wants that. Way too excited about that. He's roped in now. Sounds like the worst land possible. I wouldn't set foot there. She seems to be the only one who acknowledged the name of the land being Thieves and Phantoms. Doesn't want him to go. I don't blame her. It's a pretty risky mission. Man, went for an aggressive grab. Gotta be kind of extra with your movements in a silent film. Oh, okay, it's an H because the other name has to be Harding because I've heard a name like that before. Still feel like I prefer Butter to Hutter, but I'll go with Hutter. It's really cool watching how they frame their shots as well because there's no movement or anything like that. Everything's very locked off. So you gotta choose wisely. Yeah, that looks about right for a land called the Land of Thieves and Phantoms. Everything's been so jovial so far. I'm just waiting for the last piece to drop and for it to get a bit spooky. <laughs> Man's demanding. Shows up once five star service. Oh, that's great stuff. You know you're on the wrong path if people react to it like that. 
Are there multiple monsters in this movie? I thought it was just Dracula. <laughs> Is that the werewolf? Pretty cute if you ask me. I wouldn't mind getting attacked. Not a bad place to stay at all. Pretty good accommodations. I'm loving the color filters as well. I would assume that that was in-camera filters or something that they used. Interesting, so they name vampires specifically. Definitely doesn't sound like somebody you want to make friends with. So at least he'll be on his guard, hopefully, after reading that. Dude is not phased one bit, ready for bed, not kept awake by his nightmares at all. I like this color filter, very calming. And I wonder if when people originally went to go see this movie, whenever and wherever it was released, if there was a live orchestra that played along with it, because I feel like I remember seeing that they used to do that for silent films. Oh, he is going to pay for his arrogance. He doesn't believe it. It's a good way of showing his characteristics, though. Very pretty shot. I've loved all the landscape shots we've gotten. I think my guy's starting to get a bit scared now. He was acting all tough earlier. Man has no idea what he's gotten himself into. Who was that driving that carriage? Didn't look like the group he just left. Oh shoot, bro, that's kind of chilling. Didn't realize that Nosferatu just roamed around like that, though. I assume that's him. Looks like him. Hutter's still got some confidence left. I love the design of him, Nosferatu, and his horses. Super cool. At least Hutter's still respectful. I would be so uncomfortable, man. No paycheck size I think is worth this. Hey, the first act was pretty good. Got me hooked for sure. Man's eyes are bugging. What did he just read? Or is that the telegram that he brought because it looked like the same characters? Oh no, bro. That is the last thing you want to do here is have some blood visible. That's the most frightened he's looked all film so far. I'm surprised the music didn't get a bit more sinister there. Do not trust him. Get out of there while you still can. I like Hutter's actor. He does a good job without saying anything. Shoot, did he actually survive a whole night here? I'm impressed. I thought all the events were going to be taking place during one night. I know this man's back has got to be killing him. That looks like the most uncomfortable sleeping spot. Is his thumb clean of blood and everything now because he was feasted on? Oh gosh, that's great. What a clever little reveal. Nosferatu had a midnight snack. I don't know if you want to get too comfortable. I feel like this is all just a ruse to keep him here. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude has no idea. I love it. Worst case scenario for him. Pretty lucky that somebody pulled up to deliver the letter. Can't imagine too many people pass by here. In front of Five Nights at Freddy's, this is feeling like Five Nights at Nosferatu's. And I imagine it's just gonna get worse and worse. Oh no, man sees a prize! Don't want him getting any ideas. <laughs> what a pickup line, vampires are a different breed. 
I like that for the most part though. They're keeping him looking semi-normal. Dude saw the only reason he needed to move there. Are we actually gonna make it back there? I was worried that Hutter would never leave the castle. <laughs> now he's starting to pay more attention to the words. Wake up, my guy. <laughs> I love that he's psyching himself out now. That would be kind of a massive twist. Oh my gosh, he is terrifying just standing there. I feel like that came out of nowhere. The music didn't even warn me. I was gonna say though, that would be like the ultimate twist if... This guy wasn't even a vampire, and it was just all in Hutter's head. Oh my gosh, dude, that's horrifying. Don't even need regular sound effects or anything. No way we cut away from him, are you kidding me? I feel like he's a dead man. Does she sense something is up? Wait, what the heck is going on? She's sleepwalking, I assume? Why is that happening right now? Oh, I love it. Shadows are so effective if used right. And no better film to use them than a silent one. Shoot, that's wild that she knows everything that's happening. She somehow save him by doing that? But man, the effects and the makeup on that guy are insane. Definitely no coincidence, it has to do with blood. Man should feel so lucky that he's alive and breathing right now. Or at least alive and breathing as a human. This is such a cool location they shot at. I feel like... Especially in this time period, they would have had to get a real location, right? Wouldn't be a set. Wonder if it's still standing, if it is a real location. Oh my gosh, there's the two teeth, though, that matches Mark's. What the heck is he doing now? Those aren't more coffins, are they? <laughs> this is a cool little stop motion type thing there. Making a break for it. Gonna be hard to escape though because it feels like this is kind of in the middle of nowhere. Dang, he's moving along. Maybe that's why Hutter was shouting Ellen before, is because he knows that he's going to the house and maybe going after her. That would explain why he left in a hurry. Well, at least somebody besides Nosferatu found him. Although, since he was bitten earlier, does that mean his destiny is already sealed? He's gonna turn into a vampire himself? Oh, they're none the wiser. What a genius plan for him. Got his one-way ticket to paradise. Blood paradise. I wonder if when Ellen called out in the night to Hutter, if somehow he heard her or saw her or something. Oh, they got lucky flipping that one over. Lucky for Nosferatu, at least. Oh, okay, this is the guy that visited Hutter in the hospital, right? Classic Venus flytrap. Is this supposed to be a bit of a metaphor for what Nosferatu is gonna do? Hey, there you go, I was right. Oh no, so did he turn into a vampire, or is he just yelling about Nosferatu's plans? They think he's crazy. What 
the heck? No way that is the same Hutter, are you kidding me? What a transformation, I did not expect him to turn. Gosh, got a full-blown outbreak on their hands. But seeing him like that makes me think... Nock might have already been a vampire the way he was looking. Poor Ellen, she is gonna be heartbroken when she learns the truth. And it's gonna get even worse when Nosferatu shows up for her. This is her reminiscing about the good old days. They're definitely covering a lot of interesting themes though, just beyond the narrative. Things like greed and arrogance and pride i guess is another one that had to do with hutter refusing to acknowledge the book that he saw this film is very well shot the composition is always pristine <laughs> she's too nervous to read it herself oh wrong time to get this letter because things have gone downhill pretty quick since then I wonder if she's going to be able to put the pieces together. Maybe she'll just think what she went through the other night was also a bad dream. Oh, wait, he's okay? I really thought the other person that was going crazy was him just turning. Maybe what I said before about him looking like Nock meant that it was actually Nock. Cool that they were able to get shots like this. I wonder if they used a model or if they somehow got footage of an actual ship. Now that we go back here again, I feel like that definitely is Nock and I was just confused before. That could explain why he was kind of looking crazy before he was already turning. Is that what Dracula originally was like a metaphor for? He was created as a metaphor for like a plague or something like that? But based off that letter, we do know eventually Hutter will turn since he was bit, so that may not have been him at the moment, but soon enough he's not going to be doing too well. What kind of hairdo? Oh my gosh. Oh no, Nosferatu hasn't even been hiding out, he's been feasting on the ship. At least that's my guess of what's going down. <laughs> I feel like that may be the worst hairstyle I've ever seen, or beard style, I don't even know what you'd call it. But who knows, maybe he was the 1920s heartthrob of Hollywood. Kind of a cool effect, not sure how they would have done it back in the day, but... Man is losing his mind slowly. Wow, so that thing works fast. I'm amazed that Hutter has lasted this long then. <laughs> I like this, very suspenseful. They do a good job at building the tension. I don't know if there's any stopping Nosferatu at this point. If he took out a whole ship, Soundtrack going crazy right now, I love it! What? That is so cool! I love how they did that! No scarier way for somebody to enter a scene. <laughs> I honestly can't blame him. Dude would rather take his luck in the ocean than stay in here. This is pretty impressive for a movie a hundred years old to create this kind of atmosphere. That is a fantastic cut to the text. That's amazing. Love even during this time period they knew leaving some stuff to your imagination was the way to go. Is she under a spell again? like the way it's cutting between scenes. Keeping me on edge. Who is she talking about though? I'm worried she's under Nosferatu's spell. At this point though, I'm not sure she wants to run into either of them because Hutter could still turn. It's no wonder why Nock was so excited to get this man here. Or Thing, I don't know what I should refer to him as. 
Oh, yep, he was just hiding in plain sight. I guess that explains the rumors that were spreading about him. He's a vampire himself. Just the most terrifying person possible to show up in your town. No, underestimated him. Oh, very interesting. I did not know that part of the lore. That makes a whole lot of sense, though. I was gonna say, though, at this point, I've seen a bunch of scary movies and scary images and creatures and whatnot that just the sight alone of Nosferatu isn't like the scariest thing I've ever seen or anything. He still looks pretty terrifying, but I can imagine back in 1922, when there hasn't been that much stuff like that, it probably would have been pretty frightening for people to see his look. Gotta get a move on, Hutter. It's almost too late. Pretty wild they arrived basically at the same time. Gosh, and not far behind him is Nosferatu. I'm very curious how this is going to end because up to this point it has not gone the way I thought it was going to. Don't speak too soon, you may have just jinxed it. <laughs> Nosferatu just knows how to stand in the most menacing way possible. I wonder if Nosferatu also could potentially be just a metaphor for like lust in general. I guess I was talking about the seven deadly sins in that book so it would make sense because obviously there's the literal sucking of blood from the vampire but he lusts after the blood in the first place and specifically with Ellen he just saw one picture of her and became so fixated lusting after her specifically. He knows something went down because that many people definitely did not turn up here on shore. Oh, I also feel it's kind of risky they brought the captain in here with him. Just keep going to the plague excuse, don't realize the real thing that's happening. The worst reaction, but it could just make it easier for Nosferatu to feast. This is definitely a very opportune time for this movie to come out because wasn't this around the time as like a major plague or major disease was going around the world? I wonder if the original story by Bram Stoker included stuff about the plague or if this movie just included it just to kind of make it a little bit relevant to actual reality. Can't deny the book has told nothing but truth so far. Can't believe that Hutter isn't believing it, he's just chalking it up to be some nightmares. Man, so is Ellen really gonna have to sacrifice herself? That is tough. That would be a very noble thing to do, though. What? That's such a cool shot. Dude's spying. At least I'm pretty sure that was him in one of the windows. Is Hutter going to allow her to do it, even? I feel like he would try and stop her. Nice color change right there, that was smooth. I don't like there being an open window though, easy access. Oh man, people are dropping like flies. So many caskets. Hey, I mean, not a bad scapegoat, man, is absolutely crazy and also serves Nosferatu. <laughs> oh, full-blown chase. Finally paying for his sins. Yo, everybody's after him, holy cow. How'd he get up there so fast? He also is just treating this like a game. That's my favorite little beat they've done in the soundtrack up to this point, is that percussion. Oh, very clever distraction, fooled him. Man is too sneaky, I'm surprised he hasn't been caught yet. 
Yikes, pretty frightening shift there all of a sudden. That tells me he definitely was there in that other shot though, watching. Is this his doing, making her get up, kind of call out to him? Man, such a creepy image. Love that it's just all darkness behind him. Oh my gosh, man, what is gonna happen? I was not aware that Dracula had these kind of powers, though. Poor Ellen is going through it lately. But I'm kind of worried that if she's left alone right now, it just opens up the door for Nosferatu to get to her. Not there anymore, that means he's on his way. Oh, that is freaking awesome. That is the iconic shot I have seen. Well, though we just see her reaction, that's enough to freak us out. Whoa, very interesting. I love how they did that. Obviously got a hold of her heart there without even having to touch her. A lot of these filmmaking tactics and whatnot would work just as well today, though. Yo, that is one of the creepiest images yet. Just feasting in the corner of the frame. We're back to the purple tint. That's got to be a good sign, right? Definitely feels like something bad is happening to Nosferatu right now, so maybe the plan did work, which would be devastating for Ellen that she gave herself up. Shoot, gone for good. What a way to go. Oh, wait a second, she's still alive. That's great news. I thought she was gone for sure. I feel like it's extra significant that Ellen was the one to do it because she felt like the most pure of all the characters without any sin. Oh man, they tricked me. She actually did die, but at least she was able to have one last embrace with Hutter. Shout out to Ellen, she did the impossible. What a brave act. But I feel like the positioning of the floral wallpaper and the picture of the flower bouquet was very significant given the start of the movie. Oh wow, and it ends right after that. Impressive point to end on. Films don't too often end very abruptly like that after the climax. Very, very good movie though, considering it's a hundred years old now, I was engaged for pretty much all of it and very invested in the story. This movie is great evidence that story is king when it comes to film as a medium because even though this is a hundred years old, it still was very engaging throughout and surprisingly holds up pretty well as a story because it was very well written and there was a lot of deeper meaning hidden behind the main story as well, but definitely cannot knock pun intended I guess the effects of the film and the way it was shot and everything because hair and makeup specifically on Nosferatu knocked it out of the park every scene that he was in I was glued to the screen he was really terrifying in a couple of those scenes but such a cool character design for him and the rest of the costuming and everything for all the characters specifically for Nock as well since he was a bit of a vampire as well I thought was all really great and as far as the cinema cinematography goes obviously there is a number of aspects that are dated but I thought the framing and the composition and the way it was edited from scene to scene I thought it all was great just as good as a normal film made nowadays would be I think really the only ways that it could have been improved and made more modernized I guess were the very heavy film grain and effects that it had the flickering i don't know what other names there are for it 
and then obviously the sound and the sound effects were missing in this we just had the soundtrack which as a big horror fan definitely not your typical horror soundtrack never really got too menacing and sinister at any points it was pretty lively throughout which i feel like was a big surprise but part of that may also be that the story i don't think is necessarily a pure horror dark story i feel like there's a lot of other elements to it and so that's why the soundtrack was a bit more energetic than i was expecting and so very curious to see what other people think about this movie because before watching it i'd kind of avoided looking at reviews or ratings or anything like that i'd known that it was a pretty iconic piece of cinema and obviously if i've heard about it recently it means it's got to be pretty good since it is very very old now and definitely it was enjoyable to watch i had a really good time watching it and hopefully you all enjoyed watching along with me for it looking forward to any thoughts that you have on it maybe if there are any other deeper meanings that i may have missed maybe some other context related information about why certain things may have been significant when it was first released that i didn't quite pick up on since obviously i wasn't around then but if you did enjoy watching along, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. Helps the video out. And of course, full length reactions are available on Patreon. Link for that in the description below. But until the next movie, look forward to seeing you all later. Peace.